Hi everyone. Hey everybody, I'm John Beal. I'm Evan Beal, and welcome to John and Evan's Fishing Adventures, where we're just two average guys who love to fish and want to give you some tips and tri tricks on the topic. Yeah, so welcome to our garage. This is also known as the Man Cave. Look it up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is where we do all our work. Right now, it's wintertime, unfortunately. Yeah. So we got, what we do in the wintertime is we make lures, we tie flies, we make floats, all kinds of cool stuff, fishing and rigs, and we're going to show you how we do that. And during the summertime, we will, you will get to go on our adventures with us. You'll get to see what fish we catch with the cool stuff we make and learn new tips and tricks and tactics. Yeah. And we love to go for carp, catfish, bass, well, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, rock bass, bluegills, chubs, shiners. We're even going to start trying to catch minnows, so that's going to be something new. And... Uh, what, yeah. we, what kind of venues um, do yeah, we so like we, to Yeah, so we don't on? have a boat, so we do yeah. all bank fishing. So if you love bank fishing, then this is for you. We catch a lot of fish. You're going to get to see how we catch those fish. And we're, you know, Evan, tell them how, long you've, how many years you've been fishing now. Eight years. And, and I've been fishing for over 40 years. So we just want to pass on some of the things that we've learned that yep. allow us to catch more fish. To you. And uh, we like to have to a little bit of fun, ah! too. Jeez, that's not, that's not even funny anymore. Froggy. Oh, of course, he has to keep it in. So, what, tell them what we're going to do tonight for our first project. Um, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be making some cheap, inexpensive fishing floats that might even work better than the store-bought ones. So, let's go over to our work table. Okay, guys, we are back with John and Evan's Fishing Adventures, and today we're going to make some cheap, inexpensive fishing floats. Here's an example. It's just made out of a pen with a little eyelet to put your line on and thinking you won't be able to see this well you can there's a little black tip on the top so let's get started let me remove these nice flies that I tied out of the way <laughs> there we go that's better so what materials are you going to need to make this okay so here's what we're going to need to make this um, the first material is a ballpoint pen. Um, mechan um, ballpoint like click pens will not work. You want a ballpoint pen like this. Um, and don't worry because we're just going to remove first the ink cartridge. So you're not going to be wasting your pen. You can still use the ink cartridge to write with. So we're just going to need the pen body. We're also going to need some paper clips or stainless steel wire, but I do suggest using paper clips. These are just some one inch paper clips you can get at your local store. Okay, only need, only need one. Also going to need some wire cutters to cut the paper clip with. And you're going to need a low temp glue gun like this one. This is an AdTech low temp glue gun. Got it for two dollars at either Meyer or Walmart. And the glue sticks you can get in a hundred pack for five dollars. Super cheap. That's, and you cannot use any other glue but hot glue for this. Sorry. But that's true. So let's get started. So we got our pen body here. And the first step is we're going to take our paper clip like this. And we're just going to bend the end of the paper clip out like this into an, an L shape. Like that. Next, we're going to find the other end of our paper clip and we're going to bend it out to a 90 degree angle, too. So basically, you sh ha should have something that looks like that. Okay, so now we're just going to cut off the ends right there. Okay. So then we should uh, soon have a piece that looks like that. Just a loop. Um, okay. And next we're going to feed one of the ends through the big no nozzle of the pen. And then just kind of squeeze the two ends together and fit both in. And then push it down until it looks something like this. This is what our pen float should look like sometime until we glue it in place. So you can remove that. And now we're going to take our glue gun. And with these ball big ballpoint pens, there's a little hole on the side, which we need to seal up because we don't want any water getting in. So we're just gonna pump some glue inside and now that's sealed. And then we'll wait a little bit so it's cool and then we'll just kind of wipe off the extra. 
Um, so we've sealed that little hole off. Now we can put in our eyelet. So the first step in putting in our eyelet, didn't mean to do that, is just kind of, kind of fill the entrance with glue. Okay? Like that. And then we're going to carefully push our eyelet in like that. Okay? Get that? So we just kind of filled it from here to here with glue, pushed it in, and now we're just letting it set. And then we're just going to seal off this, the end of the pen right here with our glue. Because we remember, we don't want any water getting in. So basically, what I just did, I just sealed it right here off with hot glue. You don't want to cover up your eye, you just want to seal that. So that way no water gets into our float. Guess what? Once this is cooled, you're done. That's how quick it was. We only took about like four minutes making this. So if you get like a 10 pack of pens, you can make this in four, 10 floats in 40 minutes. It's a pretty good average. Think about it. So now, let me get another one that's actually finished. Why don't we uh, show them how you rig it? Um, sure. Yeah, we'll show you how you rig it. So, what the heck? Okay. Let me get something else. Um, so let me get some sinkers, which are the preferred, um, thing that I see, the preferred weight that I would put on your float, because, um, you need to caulk your float correctly, and let me show you what I mean by caulk your float correctly. Um, I didn't need these to caulk your float. This is the best way I like to caulk these floats. Um, this is a water gremlin. Four sizes in one, new removable split shot sinker selector, 78 pieces. You want to make sure you get the red package, because if you don't, they're not going to be removable. You want the red package. And um, you want the want the hmm. split shot that is next to smallest. This one, this shot, will perfectly caulk the float. And what I mean by caulk, imagine this is the water line right here, okay? Here's your float. That's what it wants to be look like. Because then it's nice and sensitive, it's going to go under the water really quick, and you'll respond much quicker. So technically, yeah, it's more sen <laughs> it's more sensitive. If it's laying flat on the water, the fish is probably going to feel a lot more resistance, plus you're not even going to get any casting weight, okay? So, the second to smallest shot weight in the sinker selector. And then, um, for suggestion on hooks, um, a panfish bronze Aberdeen. Size 6 panfish hook that you can get at Walmart. It's a no name hook. That's what I suggest for going for panfish and stuff like that. And oh, yes, these can also be purchased at Walmart. Okay. Can you show them how you uh, do a. Oh, yes, loop the yes. Line we on. need to make sure you show you, we show you that. So, let me get this. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Okay. So, we got some fishing line here. Now, I want to show you how we rig the float onto your line. So, basically, you pinch a loop on your line, where about you want your float. You pull, you put this loop through the eyelet of the float, like this, okay? Then you're just gonna pull the loop over the float, like this, and you're gonna cinch it up. Now, you want it to end up like this. You, what you do not want to happen is this. See that knot? That is a no-no, especially with monofilament. Because that is going to be extremely hard once a fish tugs at that to to remove it or to um, slide the float up and down your line. So you want to make sure that the loop stays on the side of your float. Like that, okay? On the side of your eyelet. Yeah, the side of your eyelet, really. Yeah. Right there. That's where the loop of line is. So that's base. And then, forgot, to remove it, you just pull the loop back over the float I know I'm using the salmon rig to demonstrate and then you just remove it and that is how you take off and put on this float I hope you enjoyed making this float so there you have it for the first episode of John and Evan's fishing adventures hope you like this video comment subscribe please it will just help this channel be better just leave your comments in this video, and this coming Saturday, we will answer your questions in a Q&A video. Yeah, and tell us what kind of videos you'd like to see. Exactly. 
and we've already got some other videos in mind. So, hope you enjoyed John and Evan's Fishing Adventures. See you next time.